ended 2018 with plenty to celebrate and started 2019 on a high note with a global audience watching the Marching 100 make its debut in the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Parade. The band also made four additional public appearances in the Los Angeles area, including an LA live performance right outside the Staples Center. Los Angeles-based philanthropists and FAMU alumni Bernard and Shirley Kinsey, President Robinson, and faculty and staff, as well as many alumni and friends, cheered on the band and helped make the trip a success. President Robinson, Student Affairs Vice President Dr. Bill Hudson, and Senior Executive Director of Engagement and Alumni Affairs Carmen Cummings returned to Los Angeles in February to recruit students at the annual Black College Expo. Our booth was one of the most popular at the Expo, which was attended by 12,000 people. Before the Rattler delegation traveled to the West Coast, the university's accreditation was reaffirmed in December for another 10 years by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges. The FAMU Connection joined President Robinson in Jacksonville to kick off the first tour of the year at Florida State College's Kent campus. More than 300 people, including alumni and kings and queens from area high schools were in attendance. The work is paying off. Fall 2019, first time in college applications to FAMU continue to rise. Year over year, these applications are up just over 20%. FAMU's Florida transfer applications for the summer 2019 session are also up. Take a look at some of the FAMU students honored for their outstanding work. Two College of Law students, Brittany Wade and Elisa Schneider, were recognized by the 9th Judicial Circuit Pro Bono Committee for their outstanding work as Legal Aid Society volunteers. FAMU Honor Student Association President Jeffrey Simmons was awarded the prestigious Charles B. Rangel Fellowship in International Affairs for 2019. Named for the former New York Congressman, the fellowship prepares young people for careers as diplomats in the Foreign Service of the U.S. Department of State. In February, faculty from the History Department, along with a student, shared their take on the importance of HBCUs and African American history during the annual Black History Month Town Hall meeting. FAMU's first female drum major, Corey Bostic, received a special honor during Black History Month she was honored as an empowered woman at the African Diaspora Awards in Fort Lauderdale. The nationally syndicated show, The Real, paid a visit to the Hill for a live broadcast to highlight Black History Month. During an interview, Dr. Robinson touted the great things happening at FAMU as hundreds of students, faculty, and staff showed their Rattler pride in Lee Hall Auditorium. Our faculty and staff continue to make an impact. Dean of the School of Journalism and Graphic Communication, Dr. Michelle Ferrier received international recognition for her work about the online harassment of journalists. She traveled to Vienna, Austria to present research from her report, Attacks and Harassment, the Impact on Female Journalists and Their Reporting to the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. Congrats to FAMU Marching 100's director and director of bands, Dr. Shelby Chipman. He was named president-elect of the Florida Music Education Association. And singer, composer, and educator, Daryl S. Tooks joined FAMU as the director of the Institute of Music Research and Music Industry Studies. He recently performed at the prestigious International Jazz Festival of Havana in Cuba. And President Robinson spent quality time with the community at all levels, starting with some holiday cheer. During the president's toy drive, the university collected more than 416 toys and 57 bicycles, which were distributed to the Emergency Care Health Organization Center, the Appalachie Center, individual families that needed assistance, and to former Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum's toy drive. It is hosted annually by alumnus and Leon County School Board member, Daryl Jones. In January, Dr. Robinson and Government Affairs Director Barbara Cohen-Pippen hosted the Florida Legislative Black Caucus at the President's House. Legislators also heard from students. The President also welcomed prominent speakers to campus. FAMU's Military and Veterans Affairs honored Lieutenant Colonel George Hardy, the youngest surviving Tuskegee Airman. Alpha Phi Alpha Incorporated National President 
Dr. Everett B. Ward delivered the keynote address during the university-wide Martin Luther King Jr. Convocation. And Dr. Robinson served as the keynote speaker at the Tallahassee Branch NAACP Martin Luther King Jr. Day Observance held at the state capitol. The Southwest Georgia chapter of the National Alumni Association presented the university with a check after Dr. Robinson spoke during their luncheon in Albany, Georgia. Dr. Robinson also spoke on a panel at the Association of Governing Boards of Universities and Colleges Foundation Leadership Forum, where his topic was Indicators of University Success and Value. Then in February, Dr. Robinson spoke at the National Alumni Association's Southern Region Conference in Atlanta and welcomed six new chapters into the region. In an effort to increase the number of FAMU students entering medical school, FAMU entered into a Memorandum of Understanding with the Ross University School of Medicine. Leaders from both universities met in February to launch the program. Qualified FAMU students who earned full acceptance into the medical school can apply for a scholarship covering full tuition for the first semester and study at the campus in Barbados. And Dr. Robinson rounded out the month by bringing greetings and remarks at the annual FAMU Harambe Festival. City leaders, colleges and schools and other FAMU representatives were also on hand for an event that celebrates African culture at FAMU's community connection. FAMU continues to rack up those accolades. We are pleased to report that FAMU maintained its 2018 R2 Carnegie classification of institutions of higher education. NursingDegrees.com ranked FAMU among the top 10 best Florida schools to earn a graduate degree in nursing online. The CollegeNet 2018 Social Mobility Index ranked FAMU as the top Florida school. SMI is a data-driven analysis that ranks four-year institutions according to how effectively they enroll students from low-income households and graduate them into good-paying jobs. The Leon County Board of Commissioners honored FAMU Athletics with a proclamation for its humanitarian efforts in the aftermath of Hurricane Michael. FAMU alumni continue to soar. Journalism School Board of Visitors Chair Kimberly Godwin was named Executive Vice President of CBS News with top editorial oversight of news gathering around the world. In healthcare, Karen Schultz Phillips was promoted to Vice President of Procedural Areas at Atlanta's Emory University Hospital. Turning to music and entertainment, FAMU Chorale alum Jeffrey Redding won a Grammy Educator Award. Another Grammy Award-winning artist and Rattler, Amir Wyndham, premiered his new movie, Canal Street, with a special showing in Tallahassee. The Motion Pictures all-star cast includes Rattler Woody McClain. Foundation Board Director Terrell Whitley produced Aretha Franklin's 1972 Amazing Grace concert documentary. The film premiered in New York at the largest documentary film festival in America. And congratulations to FAMU's new Foundation Board leaders, Chairman Jamal Gibson and Vice Chair Lisa Labou. Turning to business, FAMU alumnus G. Scott Uzel was named President and CEO of Converse Incorporated. And alumnus Darnell Strom joins United Talent Agency to lead a newly created culture and leadership division. Finally, in sports, FAMU alumnus Herb Reinhardt's winning team led Valdosta State University to the Division II College Football National Championship. Reinhardt is the former all-conference place kicker for the Rattlers, and he is in his 26th year as the leader of the Valdosta State Athletic Department. Hats off to all of our Rattlers on the move.